afternoon, children. Good afternoon, ma'am. So, how are you all today? Fine. Very good. We are going to have a conversation class today. That means we are going to interact with each other and we are going to speak in English. Now, I have got something for you. Here. What is this? Can this is mobile. Mobile. Very good. Can anybody of you tell me the uses of mobile? Very good. So all of you are well aware of the uses of mobile. Yes, please. Kids. Mobile use calculator, message, phone, his call. Okay, very good. Clap for him. You please go back. Sit. Anybody else who can tell me the uses of mobile? Yes, please come. Tell it to the class. Come, come near. Mobile use for message, calculator, missed calls, calling. So, very good. Clap everybody for him. Yes. So, you all are quite well aware of the uses of mobile. That's very good. Now, I have something for you. I have got a magic bag. Let us see what things I have brought for you. I am going to call you one by one over here and you have to pick up one object from it and speak on that object. Now, who is going to come first? Yes, please. Quickly. Oh, so what has she in her hand? Flowers. Flowers. It's flowers. So, now please tell them something about this flower. Flower color is orange, a leaf color is green, and so sweet. Okay, very good. Clap for her. Clap for her. Thank you so much. Anybody else who wants to speak on the flower? Okay, you please come. This is flower. This flower is very beautiful. There are many types of flowers like rose, sunflower, jasmine, etc. There are many colors of roses like orange, pink, white, etc. Very good. Clap for him, everybody. Clap for him. Very good. Please go. Now I would like some other child of this class to come over here and pick. You please come. Come this way. Oh, so what has she got for us? Dog. Dog. So please come forward and speak few lines on this dog. This is a dog. The dog is pet animal. Dog has many color like brown, black, white, etc. Dog eat bread, milk, etc. Okay, very good, very good. So, dog has many colors and dog eats bread and milk too. Very good. Now, I would I like to call one other child of this class from the back. I want you. Yes, come on. Oh, so what is this? Barbie doll. Barbie doll. So the girls are very happy to see this Barbie doll. I can see the faces. Okay, can you speak something on this Barbie doll? Barbie doll is very beautiful. Her hair is very long. It is very sweet and, and long. Okay, very good. Clap for everybody. Clap for this girl. Very good. Now, I would like to call upon some other girl from this row, nobody. Yes, please come. Here. This is a baby doll. She is very cute. Very good. Clap for her, everybody. Clap for her. Now, I would like to call somebody from the mid row to come up. Okay, you please come. Yeah. Come forward. So, what is this in his hand? Money. 
mic. Okay, now you speak few sentences on this mic. This is a mic. All children are speaking in mic. There are many types of mic. Long, small, and... Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, clap for him, everybody. Very good. We are going to have some other objects from the magic bag. You please come. Oh, so what has he in his hand? Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Now, please speak few sentences on this Santa Claus. Santa Claus coming from Christmas Day. Okay. Very good. Clap for him. At least he spoke one sentence. Anybody else who wants to speak on Santa Claus? You please come. This is Santa Claus. Santa Claus wears color is red. Very good. Santa Claus come on Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Santa Claus gave gift it to, to the children. Thank you so much. Very good. Clap for him, everybody. Very good. Please go and sit. Now there is one last object left in this magic bag. Who is going to come to take out this object? Yes? You? Please come. Oh. So, what is this? This is a stethoscope. Stethoscope. So, let's put it. Yes. Now you speak few lines on this stethoscope. Stethoscope used for check the patient. The doctor che check the patient with this stethoscope. Okay, very good. Clap for him, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Good. So the magic bag is empty now. And you people have spoken very nicely on all the objects. I have bought some pictures for you and I would like you all to speak on those pictures. So, you can watch this picture, you can see it? Yes, ma'am. Can anybody tell me, what does this picture denote? Yes? This is a festival of Eid. It shows the festival of Eid, very good. Can you tell me something about the festival of Eid? Anybody? Okay. I will tell you few lines on this festival and I have two more pictures on different festivals. So like I am going to say the lines on this festival, you have to speak the lines on other festivals. This picture shows the festival of Eid. Eid falls after the holy month of Ramzan. People celebrate Eid after fasting for a month. They make sivayas and they go to the mosque for prayer. Okay? Now I am going to paste another picture and like I have spoken on the festival of Eid, you have to speak on that festival. Got it? Holy. Okay, very good. Yes, who is going to speak on Holi? Yes, please. The festival of Holi. The festival of Holi. Very good. What do we do on the festival of Holi? The Holi festival of color. People play Holi with, with water, gulal, etc. Very good. Very good. Clap for him, everybody. Very good. Okay, anybody else who wants to speak on Holi? Yes. Holi is celebrated in March. Holi is celebrated in March. So that is an addition to that. Yes, you want to say something? Yes. Holi celebrate in March. The people are play colors. Etc. Very good. Clap for them. Now I have one more picture with me. Diwali. 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 Very good. Who is going
going to speak on Diwali. Oh, yes, please. Uh, people, uh, people play Lord Lakshmi and Ganesh. People play Lord Lakshmi and Ganesh. Okay, very good. They worship Lord Lakshmi and Ganesh. Anybody else? Uh, yes. Children play crackers. Children play with crackers. Very good. Don't you eat something on Diwali? Okay. Anybody from this side? Yes. What do you eat on Diwali? Sweets. Okay. What kind of sweets do you eat on Diwali? Yes. 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 Please. You. Okay. Very good. Gulab jamun, barfi, etc. Yes. People decorate the houses. With what do you decorate the houses? How do you decorate the houses? Make rangoli. Yes. You make rangoli. Very good. Yes. How do we decorate the houses? With lights and with diya. Yes, we make diyas. Okay, so you all decorate your houses with diyas? Yes. Candles. Rangoli is okay. Candles. Yes, flowers. Very good, very good. Now, we are seeing three characters in this Diwali picture. Okay, use your imagination. Tell me who are these. Okay, so we can say he's Mr. Khanna, Mrs. Khanna and his son. Okay? Your assignment for today is that you all are going to draw and color any when festival of your choice and you are going to write few sentences on that festival. Okay? So you can color it and you can decorate it also beautifully. So let me see tomorrow who is the most creative child of this class. Fine? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Uh, Ruby, it, uh, I was observing your class and there was a lot of activities and children were able to speak, use language uh, that is English. And tell me one thing, what made you plan this way using objects, pictures in order to enable uh, children to speak English? Yes, uh, Ming Nathan, it was a very interactive class and I enjoyed it. And uh, actually the children of this age, they get excited by seeing objects or pictures. If you create that anxiety in the child, when the teacher comes in the class, she brings with herself something which creates interest. Then the, all together, the overall atmosphere of the class, it changes and the children, they become curious to know and they want to learn more and more. Same is like I brought real objects in the magic bag. And I asked the children that, yes, this is it. I have brought something for you. This is, this is a magic bag and I have something for you all in it. So that was to arouse the curiosity of the children to prepare them to learn and speak in English. And you brought objects, uh, items which children know. And with that you were able to make them uh, describe it. That means, that means they were able to speak English. And that was one part. That means going from known, known things and they are able to construct sentences. So a kind of constructivist approach you followed. And from there when you moved on to the festivals which are actually concepts, though objects are related to that. And what made you uh, do so? Actually moving from objects to uh, concept, first I tried to, uh, like uh, speaking on the object was kind of a warm up session for them, preparing them to speak. Okay, then moving on the concept was the real plan that I wanted them to speak on some concept and today the topic which I took was festivals because they know about festivals and immediately asking them that they, oh, this is Holi festival or this is Diwali festival now you speak on the festival. It's better to make them first prepare on it, make a ground for it, uh, prepare them to speak once the language is on their tongue then speaking on the concept may, becomes easier for them. Uh, you also gave them homework which is uh, writing 
from speaking you moved on to writing that's a good thing because they have got the ideas uh, now the even the language to write about so that, that's a good thing uh, probably this is the message the teachers uh, should get that uh, bring in objects from real life and the ideas children know from their generate language for a language classroom thank you very much for this thank you sir